What are the, the minimum tools that a landowner would need to engage in fire? Well, for starters, a drip torch, you don't have to have a drip torch, but for 150, 175 bucks, and they last forever. A simple rake. I like forced air leaf blowers, so you don't have to get a dozer per se. And you can get those for a couple hundred bucks. Maybe uh, the next step is ATV if you've got that, or a buggy with some water handling capability. If you want to go full NWCG, uh, Nomex, get yellowed up, tell your wife that's what Santa Claus can bring you. And again, extension universities, there are ways you can borrow a torch or borrow a rake or things like that. It's got to be creative. I think that's really all somebody needs for starters. On the subject of equipment, I would say it depends. I have landowners who can literally head fire it to the ditch. You know, their property is shaped in such a way, all they need is a torch, you know, and and one guy in the right wind. If you're going to have 30 burn events every year, you might as well drop the coin on a, on a good disc or a, or a fire plow or a tractor. It just really all depends on your individual situation. I know the people that might be listening may be just getting into this and, and getting started, but you got to start thinking five and six moves ahead. You know, what's going to, what's, what's my 10 years, next 10 years, what's my next 15 years look like? Your most important tool is knowing precisely what you want to do. Why am I doing what I'm doing? And then after that, I think the key is, is like I said, apprenticing yourself in fire, becoming a student of fire, becoming a student of wildlife. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you have ideas for episodes, you can drop us a note at UF Deer Lab. And if you haven't already, please go and rate the podcast on whichever platform you're listening. 